we see e-commerce uh, platforms delivering payment capabilities, helping people open bank accounts, or even you know uh, apply for loan services, and then. Hi everyone, this is the Peking University HSBC Business School Entrepreneurship Society. Today we are speaking with Ennis from Financier. So may I ask you to introduce yourself? Certainly. Thank you, Nicholas. Uh, so my name is Ennis. Uh, I'm you know, born, raised and educated in Indonesia. I graduated from the University of Indonesia with a degree in finance. I'm currently working on strategy and operations at Financier. We are a B2B open finance platform operating in Southeast Asia, right now in Indonesia and Philippines market. Previously, I was an investment associate at BRI Ventures. So that is the VC arm of BRI Group, the biggest that owned bank with more than 89 million customers all over Indonesia. Thank you for sharing. Uh, sounds like a very exciting background. Um, may I ask in your experience, what are the trends in open finance in Indonesia? Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, and maybe uh, if you don't mind giving, I'll, I'll give a bit of a background. So Indonesia is home to 270 million population. More than half of it are unbanked. Only, you know, a single digit or two digit percentages of the population is properly banked. So, you know, the, the, the acceleration of smartphone penetration during the pandemic has definitely helped the price of you know embedded finance so that's where uh, digital financial services are you know enabled to be placed in you know applications that are not limited to financial applications for example we see e-commerce uh, platforms delivering payment capabilities helping people open bank accounts or even you know uh, apply for loan services and then you know uh, for a for an open finance platform like us, uh, it's exciting because we are here to elevate that concept further. So we basically allow, uh, we are a data sharing model that allows users to share their data with third parties. So in this case, um, we elevate embedded finance because we allow users to share not only their financial data, but also uh, other alternative data sources such as you know, for example, your personal income tax history, your insurance, your pension funds, even utility transaction data, such as, you know, phone bills, water bills, electricity bills. Uh, we allow users to give consent to, you know, uh, for uh, companies to use this data to, you know, to be accessed, you know, and then enriched and then leveraged to make uh, more new and then innovative financial products and services. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, may I ask on a personal note, so previously you mentioned that you used to work for VC and now you're working for Financier. So may I ask uh, what made you switch from VC to working in a startup and how has it been going so far? Uh, certainly, yeah. Um, so coming from a VC arm of a bank, uh, FinTech was our main investment focus. And then I have had the privilege to contribute and lead uh, transactions with startups in this industry. Um, and then, you know, with Financier, it's a, it's a, particularly new vertical in Indonesia. So open finance is a fairly new vertical. And, you know, I know that currently I'm supporting very passionate founders and team build a platform that will be crucial to overcoming the new wave of fintech products and services that will strengthen the proposition of embedded finance that I was just mentioning. And we strongly believe it will be the key to, you know, to unlock even more potential and, um, you know, ultimately increase financial inclusion level in Indonesia. I see. And a quick follow up to that, may I ask if uh, your experience in VC, was it uh, easily transferable to your current role? Um, I think I think the answer to that is yes and no, because I think um, uh, on on a VC side of things, it's it's more of an, you know, assessing deals and then seeing whether, you know, building your own conviction of whether a deal is, um, you know, whether a deal is feasible for your fund. But then here, it's more uh, about operating. It's more about executing things. Um, and it's, you know, it's definitely exciting in a different way. And I can say that both is, you know, very fulfilling uh, for myself personally. Um, it's just, you know, a different kind of excitement, if I would say so. I see. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Uh, that's all the questions that I have for today. Thank you so much for your time. Of course. Thank you, Nicholas.